Hi, I'm Paul DeBartolomeo. Welcome to Fire Engineering's Training Minutes. In this segment, we're going to discuss a two-to-one system where we can haul and lower a firefighter who's been overcome or trapped above grade, in this case from a second floor window. All right? We're going to use a 24-foot extension ladder as our high point. So when we're setting the ladder up, there are a few things that we have to take into consideration for our outside team. All right? We want to make sure we set the ladder up as high as we can on the building. We're creating a high point to haul this member up to the window and then lower him or her down to the ground. All right? Our angle is also critical. Right? We want to get the base of the ladder far enough off the, the building so we have space at the windowsill between the building and the ladder. That's where the down member is going to come out. If this angle were really short and shallow here, that space up there is naturally going to be reduced and we could have some interference as we're transitioning that member from the window out onto the system. Right? So these are some important factors that we want to take into consideration when we're actually setting up the high point ladder device. All right? Our rope system has been boiled down to a very basic system. We have to remember what we're doing here. This is rapid intervention. This member is down, has been overcome. We need to get them out of the IDLH, down to the ground, and into EMS hands as quickly as possible. So we really can't have a very complicated rope system. So we've boiled this down to a very, very basic two-to-one system. All right? Firefighter Rigged here is going to demonstrate it. We're going to simulate that this is our high rung or our high point. Right? He's got a large carabiner. He's coming in from the outside of the rail, and he's simply clipping this large carabiner on our high point. Right? We clipped it. Now he's going to take the rope, he's going to flip it over, right? bringing the rope to himself, and flip it over. Right? Now we see we've created a bite in the rope. Okay? If our down member is not equipped with an internal harness, we're going to need a second carabiner, right? which we attach to our bite. We pass this second carabiner into the inside rescuers, and they can attach this either to a hasty harness or a, a lowering system that they've, they've put into play. If our down member is equipped with a harness, we don't even need this second piece of hardware. We simply pass the bite into the room and our inside rescuers attach the bite of rope to our down member's harness hook. And now we can use this system to haul up and eventually lower down to the ground. So a very simple, basic two-to-one system. Now we're going to go inside. We're going to transition inside of the second floor and see the inside rescuers' operation in this process. So our inside rescuers have dragged our downed firefighter into a, an area of refuge, and the high point ladder has been set up. They dragged the down member in in the typical fashion, head first. As they approach the exit window, they need to spin the downed firefighter around so his feet are facing the exit window. It's very important that we load this down member out feet first. All right, so what you're seeing now, right? They're taking his feet, they're going to get his two feet up on the sill, and they're going to slide his body as close to the wall as possible, right? Contact with the wall. We have our outside rescuer setting up our system. He clipped the beaner onto the high point, he's passing the bite in the window, and he's going to not now go down and man our haul line. We're taking the bite and we're attaching it to the large pompier hook on the harness. So now our system is set. So now the first leg of this is going to be a two to one haul. We've got two outside rescuers down on the ground. We've got our two inside rescuers here. They're going to coordinate with each other. They're going to pick the member up, pivot him in the sill, while the members down below haul on the rope. Right, so we're, we're getting our member up into the sill. We'll sit him right up into the sill, right? And he's ready to go out and be lowered now. We're using a, a, a live firefighter as our victim, so we've taken the time here to set up a safety belay. We're going to attach the belay here before we send him out. Black on the system. Lay on. 
All right, so we're in a position now to transition our down member from the sill out to the system and lower them to the ground, right? The inside rescuers are going to communicate with the outside rescuers. They may ask them to haul up a little bit just so we can clear the sill of, of the member's lower half and his cylinder. Then they're going to get them out on the, the system and lower right to the ground. Haul up. Coming out the window. Lower. All right, so today what we demonstrated was using a 24-foot portable ladder as a high point anchor in a very basic two-to-one haul and lower system. If you notice the system, there was minimal hardware built into it. There weren't a lot of pulleys and carabiners, and that was done on purpose. This is a rapid intervention evolution, right? Our main objective is to get this down member out of the IDLH and into the hands of EMS as quickly as possible. Sometimes when we build these systems with complexities, it overwhelms our rescuers both inside and outside, right? and it can lead to a time delay in that removal. So we really, we really stress keeping this system basic. If you can see how we set it up, when our outside rescuers were here hauling and lowering, they were basically in line with the high point, and that's really what we want. We want to keep those forces straight up and down. Oftentimes our rescuers will work out to the sides of the ladder. Now we're really putting stress on that high point. So remember, keep this all linear straight up and down. I'm Paul DiBartolomeo. Thank you for watching Fire Engineering's Training Minutes.